Earlier this year, I was shopping for an external camera microphone that I could just plug into my microphone and use as like my main camera mic. Unfortunately, due to COVID and everybody being home and there being noise, I have had to switch to primarily using the Rode Pod mic as my main microphone that I use even on camera, which was not the plan when I purchased it. But uh, you know, it is what it is and we roll with the punches, don't we? But I still landed on picking up an external microphone, which was the Movo VXR10 for about $40 on Amazon. Well, by coincidence, about a month or so after I purchased the VXR10, Movo reached out to me and was like, hey, we're coming out with a new one. You want to test it out? And I was like, heck yeah, my dudes. And that's the microphone you're listening to right now. Mounted on my Panasonic Lumix G7 is the new version, the big boy, the VXR10 Pro. And uh, it's got a lot more going for it than the VXR10 for only $10 more. What you're listening to right now is an edited version of the audio coming from the VXR10 Pro on my camera. This is just using some of the usual preset effects I use in Adobe Premiere for simple audio editing. I've shown you guys those effects in the past, I'm not really going to go into it, but what I will say is that just from listening to it and testing this thing out, I have used it on a few videos just as a backup recording in case anything went wrong with the recording on the pod mic, and so far I must say I am pretty impressed with it. I usually go into the camera settings and turn the gain down to negative 12 decibels. I did see that when I plugged this in, the spikes, the uh, the monitoring on the screen were a little low, so I turned them up to negative six, and it's plenty loud. Even at negative eight, it was plenty loud and can be boosted in post. You might be hearing my wife typing in the background. She is working. We work and live in the same room. I film in this room, so that's just part of rolling with the punches like I talked about before. So if you do hear her in the background, that should give you a good indication of the polar pattern that this microphone has. Whereas the VXR10 was referred to as a universal cardioid microphone, at least on the front of the box, the VXR10 Pro is a super cardioid microphone, which according to Movo, means that it has a narrower cone of picking up your sound. Now obviously it's not going to be as isolated and a little bit more reverby and pick up more noise than if I were just using the Rode pod mic, which is a dynamic microphone. So that should only really pick up the sound right in front of it. And it's got to be right by your mouth. So it's about arm's length away from me, which is why the camera is a little bit closer than normal. Now for comparison, this what you're hearing right now is what the audio sounds like straight from the microphone unedited with the exception of maybe having to adjust the volume levels in post. Again, still turned down to negative six decibels on the preamp in the camera and what do you think? Again, I think it sounds pretty clear. It is not the most noise isolating microphone there is, but I do think that it is impressive. And even compared to the VXR10, which I have used a few times before switching to the pod mic, I do think that it is a little more isolated, a little bit more narrow. So you're not going to pick up as much reverb and as much room noise as you would even compared to the lower priced VXR10. The VXR10, as I had seen before buying it, was compared a lot to the Rode Video Micro, but I would say that the VXR10 Pro is probably more comparable to the Rode Video Mic Go, which is double the price at $99. Now for comparison's sake, the audio you're hearing now is the unedited, maybe boosted audio of just me talking into the camera with no external microphone. So this is the Lumix G7's built-in microphone does not sound great using that built-in microphone. So even if this were to help a little, any help is definitely important when it comes to getting better audio. Now this video is about the VXR10 Pro, so I'm going to try to not really super compare it so much to the VXR10, but just as a new user of the VXR10 going into the Pro, I was pleasantly surprised to see the differences and how much more you get. And then to find out it was only $10 more, I'm even more blown away. So inside the box, you'll receive a carrying case that is actually pretty tough and hard on the outside. And inside it's lined with foam to protect the microphone. There's also a windscreen, which the VXR10 did not have and a dead cat that you could put on the microphone for if you want to take it outside for any outdoor vlogging. And there are two different cables, one to plug the microphone into a camera and one to plug the microphone into a smartphone. The VXR10 Pro microphone itself is larger than the VXR10 and it it actually has two ports on the back, one for of course plugging the microphone into a camera and the second for monitoring so you can listen to the microphone. The only problem is as far as I can tell from what little information I can find online and testing it out myself, the monitoring does not seem to work plugged into a camera. My assumption at least at first was that the microphone would let you just monitor 
the camera audio, but uh, so far no dice. From what I can tell, it's mainly for when you plug into a smartphone, which is why the smartphone cable that comes with the microphone is different. It has the three ring plug that would go into the headphone jack. So if you are planning to pick this up and purchase it and hoping to monitor your audio on the microphone directly from your camera, as far as I can tell, I don't think it's going to work. Now that aside, while audio monitoring would be a nice bonus feature, the main focus here is the audio. And this again is what it sounds like just unedited straight from the microphone. This is the windscreen, I took that off. This is the dead cat that comes with the VXR10. I don't know if it'll fit on this, but I'm gonna try. Ho hopefully, it, hopefully it works. It's too small. I will hand it to them that the original was like this solid ball that you can just put onto the microphone, whereas the one that comes with the Pro it is just kind of an empty, furry shell, but I mean, it should still accomplish the same effect. I don't know if one is actually better than the other, I just kind of like how this feels. It feels like it's more sturdy and stable, but uh, you know, once this has the microphone underneath it, it'll probably be fine. So I have the dead cat on the microphone now, as opposed to the windscreen from before. There is a shock mount that you need to clip onto the microphone before you put it on the camera, and then you can just twist the spin the little thingy to screw it onto the camera. And now we're gonna head back outside to the great outdoors to test out how this thing sounds outside using just the microphone itself, the windscreen, and then the dead cat that comes with it. So we'll see how that goes. Best of luck to all of us in our, in our travels. Okay, now I'm outside and we're gonna try to get this all going in one go. I do not have the windscreen on the microphone at the moment. It is completely bare, just to give you an idea of what it sounds like outdoors with noise, no editing done except maybe boosting in post if I needed. Um, yeah, it's hot outside and I don't like it. My hair is a little shorter because I'm filming on a different day than I did previously and I have cut my hair since, so some behind the scenes portly for you. It's not windy outside like at all, in fact it's pretty warm, uh, so there's not really like hopefully going to be a lot of wind noise, but if there is, cool. I think I just stepped in like a, a cat hairball. That's gross. But if there is some wind noise, that gives you an idea of, even on a not very windy day, what the microphone sounds like, just bare and exposed if you're going to go outdoors. Now I do have the normal windscreen on the microphone, not the dead cat just yet. We're going to try that in just a moment to give you another idea of how much wind that may filter. I have no way of monitoring or listening to this uh, to tell you guys how windy it does or does, does not sound until I'm inside. There's some wind right now, a little bit. So I'm, and until I'm inside listening to this, I have no idea how this is actually going to sound because of the lack of monitoring in the microphone, but hey, it happens. It's very bright. I'm, I'm shining and sparkling and sweaty. At least I feel like I am. I can't see it in the monitor because the sun is in my eyes. I hate the outdoors. Anyway, going to pace around a little bit just to give you an idea of what it sounds like with the microphone. I've got the dead cat on there, and this is what it sounds like moving around in motion. Uh, how does it sound to you guys? Sound like something you might pick up to take outdoors and vlog or whatever you might have to do? That'd be kind of cool. Alright, let's do it out of here. I'm going back inside. All in all, I am pleasantly surprised by this microphone. And though it is nice to have the VXR10 as a backup, considering I had just purchased it, I am plenty happy to have the VXR10 Pro in my possession and will definitely be using it as my main camera microphone once things are all settled down and I, I don't really have to rely on the pod mic so much for on-camera audio. I definitely like it a lot and for $50, I feel like you can't go wrong. If you're just jumping into things and you want better audio without having to sync up with an external audio recorder or recording your audio to a microphone to your computer, if you just want to record straight from the mic and do some vlogging or what have you on the go, I think for the price, you're looking at one of the top options that you could find out there. And that's gonna do it for me. Uh, hopefully this was a short video. I tend to ramble on a little bit too much in some of these videos. Some of these microphone reviews, for example, end up being like 15 minutes when I wanted them to be like seven. So we'll see how long this one ends up being. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you to Movo for providing the VXR10 Pro for a review. And I uh, appreciate all you guys. Thanks again. Consider liking, commenting, and subscribing on this video. If you like this video, you can watch this one about the Kimafoon 2.4 GHz wireless microphone set I reviewed. Or you can watch this video about something completely different. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out of here.